all our Nordic teepees are water repellent. In addition, we have made the door openings diagonal and placed a rain flap over the zippers to keep water out. And you can roll up the door to make your Nordic teepee snug on warm days. On the sapphire model, there are extra toggles and rings in the door opening. That way, the door can still be closed in the event of damage to the zippers. One of the main differences between our Onyx, Zircon and Sapphire models is the amount of ventilation alternatives. Onyx has a basic amount of options. It uses the door opening as air intake and the ventilator cap located in the top as air outlet. Zircon tents can also use the door as ventilation, plus that they have one air intake in floor level fitted with mosquito net and a more advanced ventilation system in the top. The Sapphire model, which is the most advanced, has three air intakes in floor level in addition to the door and the top ventilation of the Zircon. Be sure to open up the flap on the outside when using the floor level air intakes. All models have mosquito net fitted in the door. On Zircon and Sapphire models, the top is also fitted with mosquito net. Be sure to keep the mosquito net folded away if you use an open fire, as it might get damaged from the heat. To enhance the indoor climate even more, the canvas of our tents named CP are made from cotton polyester, which has excellent breathing abilities. In the top of our tents you find the ventilator cap a large adjustable hat for ventilation and for smoke clearance when using an open fire. The ventilator cap can be adjusted from inside the tent with our patented intent vent ventilation system to regulate the amount of ventilation. You can even choose from where in the tent you want to operate the ventilator cap. Handy if you want to regulate ventilation from your sleeping bag. Be sure to not have the regulating system connected to the center pole when using an Elfeld stub or having an open fire. It might burn the cords. If you use an open fire inside, it's important to ventilate correctly. Make sure you have at least one air intake open to let fresh air in and the ventilator cap open to let smoke and other gases out. On the ventilator cap, open up only the side that is facing away from the wind. The floor level air intake facing the wind should be opened. This will create an optimal airflow through the tent the same way as a chimney works. If you do the opposite, however, opening up the side of the ventilator cap facing the wind, the smoke will blow back into the tent. Keep the large part of the ventilator cap open when the fire is going to get maximum ventilation. When the glow is near to die out and temperatures go down, you risk to get insects coming in from the top. Close the large cap and open the small one. But be sure to keep the air intake open for carbon monoxide to be ventilated out. Respect local fire regulations, never leave the fire unattended and read our fire safety instructions.